In this video, I'm going to introduce long division using one digit divisors. Here is a number sentence 524 divided by 4. First, we need to draw our bus stop. We put the number that we are dividing, the dividend, inside the bus stop. We put the number that we're dividing it by, the divisor, next to the bus stop. So first we need to see how many times 4 goes into 5. 4 times 1 is 4, so 4 goes into 5 once. We now need to find out what's left over, so 5 take away 4 equals 1. We can now bring the second digit down. Now we can work out how many 4s go into 12. 4 times 3 is 12, so 4 goes into 12 3 times. We now need to find out what's left over, so 12 take away 12 is 0. We can now bring the third digit down. Finally, how many 4s go into 4? Four? 4 goes into 4 once. So the answer is 131. Let's have a look at another example. 845 divided by 5. First, we need to draw our bus stop. We put the number that we are dividing, the dividend, inside the bus stop. We put the number that we're dividing it by, the divisor, next to the bus stop. So first we need to see how many times 5 goes into 8. 5 times 1 is 5, so 5 goes into 8 once. We now need to find out what's left over, so 8 take away 5 equals 3. We can now bring the second digit down. Now we can work out how many 5s go into 34. 5 times 6 is 30, so 5 goes into 34 6 times. We now need to find out what's left over. So 34 take away 30 is 4. We can now bring the third digit down. Finally, how many 5s go into 45? 5 goes into 45 9 times. So the answer is 169. Let's have a look at one more example. 546 divided by 3. First, we need to draw our bus stop. We put the number that we are dividing, the dividend, inside the bus stop. We put the number that we're dividing it by, the divisor, next to the bus stop. If you have a pen and paper to hand, pause the video and have a go at working out the answer. Write your answer in the comment section below. So first, we need to see how many times 3 goes into 5. 3 times 1 is 3. So 3 goes into 5 once. We need to find out what's left over. So 5 take away 3 equals 2. We can now bring the second digit down. Now we can work out how many 3s go into 24. 3 times 8 is 24. So 3 goes into 24 8 times. We now need to find out what's left over. So 24 take away 24 is 0. We can now bring the third digit down. And finally, how many threes go into six? Three goes into six twice. So the answer is 182.